Hey guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Daisy. For today's week's video, I am going to be talking about a very recent Bruja paranormal update. I said I wasn't going to be talking about no more about the Bruja, but only if paranormal stuff happened. And it happened. So, if you're interested, grab your snacks, grab your cobija, and let's get straight into it. Okay, you guys, so right now it is 5 in the afternoon, son las 5 de la tarde, and I am doing this story time early. Usually, I do my story times around 8 in the night, but not today, honey. Today, we are doing it where the birds are still chirping, okay? Because this story time is so fresh and super creepy that I don't want to remember it when I have to close my eyes tonight, all right? <laughs> So, let's just get straight into it. Okay, so my grandpa's birthday was on April 3rd, and my mom decided to do a little fiesta for him. And so, on the day of his grandchildren, his children went that live in Mexico. And the fiesta was outside, you know, you know, the fiesta is outside, but people are coming in and out of the house to use the restroom, to get something from the kitchen, things like that. Well, let's just say something happened during his party so my cousin's wife and his little girl needed to use the restroom so they start to head all over over there but they noticed that the door of the restroom was closed i'm just going to name my cousin's wife bianca i don't know that name just popped in my head bianca just pushes the door my grandpa has a door that you just push and you will know if someone's in there because it won't budge it's not those ones that you have like a knob to it no it's ones that you push in well when she pushes in that door she sees an older lady in front of the toilet she sees this lady fixing her green pants like um pants de vestir you know like dressy pants the older lady was just fixing her pants and her shirt she looks up to bianca and bianca just tells her oh my god i'm so sorry i'm so sorry she immediately closes the door and that's it she describes this lady to be an older, shorter lady with glasses and a ponytail, a low ponytail. She had a like transparent shirt. That transparent shirt had like white flowers. So white flower, black sheer transparent shirt. And she had these dark green pants, dressy pants. And with her hair tied and her glasses. So Bianca immediately closes the door and she was just in shock. She was embarrassed. She was like, oh my God. But then she started to realize that lady looked awfully way too familiar. She was like, who is that lady? And immediately it gets in her mind that that lady was my grandpa's late wife the one that just passed away and she was freaking out she was like okay maybe i am just going crazy but like she they were waiting outside for a while and no one was coming outside like no one was getting out like the lady wasn't coming outside so she was like oh my god like if i open that door and there's no one then i saw the late wife so she builds up the courage and she opens the door and there was no one in the restroom no one and also i do want to make it very clear that bianca opened the door saw the lady said oh my god i am so sorry closes the door and stands there in the hallway in front of the door to like you know to wait for the restroom and she waited and waited and no one came out but when she opened the door that's when she was like nope i a hundred percent saw that lady I think the creepiest part for me is that she appeared to someone on my grandpa's birthday in his house. That's the creepiest part. And you know what? I'm gonna... I don't want to throw some shade, but I'm throwing some shade. She was always in the restroom. That lady was always in the restroom. My... I... That's all I'm gonna say. So it makes no... It, it doesn't blow my mind that she was... She appeared in the restroom. Because that lady was always in the restroom and you guys i shouldn't crack jokes but for me to cope with what's going on i think i have to porque luego i'm gonna go crazy that's what's gonna happen and my cousin the one that takes care of my grandpa he had a dream about the lady a couple days before my grandpa's birthday now i don't know if it was a coincidence or a warning but he just remembers dreaming about her and saying that it was such a vivid dream that the dream was super vivid but he just can't for the life of him remember what it was about all he knows it felt real 
But you guys, that was not the only thing that happened. After my grandpa's birthday, weird things started to happen. And guess in where? In my grandpa's restroom. This happened a couple days ago. My grandpa has a dog in his patio and he has to have the door closed because if he doesn't, the dog is just gonna run out. Honestly, I don't know what happened, but the dog got loose. So my cousin had to bring the dog back to the backyard. And the backyard door is right next to the restroom door. So you can hear what is going on in the restroom from the backyard door, okay? My cousin was putting the dog back outside he heard as if a bucket was thrown against the wall he ran out he ran out from the area he went to the living room and he was shook he was scared he was like what the hell was that because it sounded like i just explained it to you it sounded like a bucket was thrown against the wall they were scared so they waited a little while to go check and when they checked there was nothing thrown there was no bucket there was nothing but the only weird thing is that the water the the hot water was on i don't know call me crazy but that's paranormal and i think it's the doing of the lady it's just a weird coincidence it's a coincidence that you know she was seen in the restroom on my grandpa's birthday and all of a sudden things are going on in my grandpa's bathroom that's weird but my cousin's wife Bea says that she has been hearing things during the day when she is visiting my grandfather in the restroom she doesn't go check because she's like uh -uh, i ain't crazy Bea says that she's in the living room sitting with my grandpa and she is hearing things in the restroom loud things in the restroom and she looks over to my grandpa to see if he notices is hearing thing is hearing what she's hearing and nothing's phasing my grandpa and honestly i am so thankful that he's not hearing anything or he's not you know he's experiencing things i don't want him to see anything i don't want him to hear anything because i don't want him to be scared because that is terrifying like what the hell is that no thank you so i'm honestly very thankful that he is not experiencing the paranormal stuff okay but since i feel like that story time was a little bit short i mean it was juicy as hell i don't know how i'm gonna sleep tonight i'm gonna read you guys one subscriber scary story i am excited you guys once you guys send me them like i felt special i felt like first of all thank you i just want to say thank you to even like take time out of your guys' day to write me your guys' stories you guys don't even know how much it means to me so thank you so 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 much to the people that have sent me your the stories okay so this person wanted to stay anonymous it says hi daisy just wanted to start off by saying i love your videos thank you so much i'm so happy you guys are enjoying them thank you besos um, this is my paranormal story from when I visited Mexico a few years ago. This happened on a Friday night. My cousin and I were out late one night, hanging out with her group of friends, and we got to her house around 1 a.m. My cousin's house is a two-floor home. On the bottom floor is the living room, kitchen, and one bedroom, my aunt's and uncle's room. On the top floor is my cousin's room and two other rooms where her sister, sisters, my other cousin, slept. Anyways... We were upstairs. I was in the restroom washing my face and my cousin was in her room. As I'm washing my face, I hear a TV turn on full blast. It was obnoxiously loud. And I remember thinking, geez, this is going to wake up everyone in this house. So I finished washing my face and got to my cousin's room. TV is still on. And when I enter, she has this scared look on her face and says, come with me to go downstairs. We need to turn off the TV. It was the TV from the living room downstairs. I could tell she also had no idea who or what turned the TV on. I immediately got scared and I didn't want to go at first, but was too scared to stay in the room alone. So we hang on to each other. I'm a chicken, so my eyes are closed the entire time and we start to walk downstairs. Once we get to the living room, she turns on the light and the TV remote was in the usual place. So she turns off the TV, 
goes to my aunt's room and asks her if she knows who turned on the TV and tells me she said no, that she didn't even hear the TV and her bedroom is right next to the living room. So we were even more freaked out, go back upstairs, scared and sleep. Well, the next day, my cousins informed me that she asked her sisters if they heard the TV last night and they all said no. Yeah, girl, that is super creepy. Girl, boy, girl, boy. Um, that is super creepy. Honestly, I'm with you. Closing my eyes. I wouldn't even go downstairs. I'm like, girl, see you later. Bye. <laughs> but yeah, honestly, Mexico, I'm telling you, Mexico has some... Mexico is always full of surprises. Don't get me wrong. I love Mexico, but you always got to be on your toes because You just never know. <laughs> okay, you guys, you know what? Let me do one more. I love this. I love this Let me do one more, but thank you so much. Thank you so much. So this one I don't know if they want me to say their name I will feel bad if they don't want me to say their name. I feel bad. Ugh, should I? I don't know I don't know. <laughs> I feel bad. All right, but how about next time tell me if you want to say your name because I don't want to put your guys' name out there, you know? So this happened in 2018. So I don't know much about my house. I only know it was built in the early 1900s. So I was alone in my room one night trying to go to sleep. I felt a presence in my room that made me feel uneasy, but I knew nobody was there. And then suddenly a pillow is thrown at me and I turn around and panicked. And then I was hoping it was my sister and I had hoped that she just came in my room and I didn't see her but nobody was there. I don't think this is a friendly ghost at all because it's mostly me who encounters these things. Like for example, I hear weird noises at night when nobody is up. Thank you for reading my story. You left me wanting more. I want to know all about it. So let me know if you want, if you can, if you want to share. Because you definitely let me, you left me wanting more. Okay, but thank you so much for sharing. You know what? I'm gonna do another story time because y'all have me hooked. You guys, give me the salsa, give me the details. I love that. But thank you so much for sharing. Okay, so this is another story. Please, you know what? Let me know if you guys want to say your names. I feel so bad not saying your names, but I'm gonna feel even worse if you guys didn't want me to say your names. So please let me know. Sorry, that's all my bad, but please. So here's a story to feature. I used to live in a one bedroom apartment with my siblings and mom. One night my brother and mom weren't home and it was just my sister in the house. I'm sleeping with my sister and in the middle of the night I feel like someone is staring at me like really intense. I open my eyes and see a woman like a black shadow in front of my mirror. Ew. It was facing me and it couldn't be and, and it couldn't be my sister since she was sleeping beside me. That shadow didn't even have a reflection. Ugh, girl. Ugh. I stared. I stared at this thing for two minutes in fear and ran out of the room as fast as I could. My apartment has a really tiny, tiny hallway and it has a perfect view of my mirror, meaning I can see it still there. I look back and it was looking at itself, playing with its hair. And it quickly looks at me and gives me a hand gesture like, come here, oh hell no. I slowly walk to my room. As soon as I get in the covers, it literally grew up from the floor and was at the mirror again. This happened for a couple of nights until it went away. I still don't know what that was till this day. That is creepy. No. You know what? That reminds me of my cousin. My cousin, she they used to live in near a cemetery and she had the exact same experience minus the interaction. She just saw like a little girl in front of the mirror combing her hair i think but this was so long ago she told me the the story so i don't know if i'm saying it like i don't know if i'm making things up now but that's what it reminded me of that creeped me out holy uh uh, uh good thing you sleep with your sister because i could never sleep by myself with this but again girl thank you so much vessels hugs you guys are so sweet Thank you, thank you. You guys don't even know. Like, thank you so much for sending me your guys' stories. It means a lot. Thank you.
so that was it for today's video next week i am going to read my subscribers paranormal story times so if you're interested definitely subscribe to not miss out on that video but other than that i hope you guys enjoyed and i'll see you guys in the next one bye